Hello, this is Dr. J, back with some more Magnum 357. We left off in the middle of a huge melee, massive pitched battle going on here. And this is a tough one, because the enemies have such numbers that they can do serious damage to my troops. So I'm hoping I don't lose anybody this turn. Let's find out. I almost feel like I should put the game speed to medium so I can more easily track what's happening. It moves pretty fast. So far, they're attacking people who can take it. Yeah, lots of attacks on Keel, who can handle it just fine, especially while he's on a 30% defense mountain tile. And lots of attacks on the Dread, which is very tough and can repair itself. Now they're attacking Reiko, but she's got good defenses and she's on a forest tile, so I think she can hold out. I do wish the quick animation version gave a little bit more information as to what's happening. Okay, we survived. Uh, six hit points left on Keel still. The Dread is very hurt. Reiko's got seven. Now the Dread is in trouble. That's bad. Especially because it's slow. It's not like it can just easily escape, nor can it just... Like, move onto a mountain tile to get a heavy defense bonus, because it flies. It never gets terrain defense bonuses. Oh, boy. Uh, how repaired is the fairy? Probably not very. I don't think I'm comfortable deploying it again yet. Maybe I am, though. I could really use another cluster missile attack. Oh, boy, could I ever. If I move her to here... How many enemies could I get? A huge number, right? Actually, here might be even better. Man, but they would attack her heavily. She would probably die. It's so high risk, high reward. I think she would probably die. I, I don't think it's a good call. If I deploy her here, though, they might not gang up on her quite so much. She wouldn't be able to get as many enemies, but she'd be much less likely to get killed. On the other hand, that is in range of the Aprox here, isn't it? Wow, this is a tough mission. I really have to think about what to do. Uh, that doesn't quite get everybody, so I don't know if I want to put the shield back up yet. Oh, the Pastoral's taking a bit of a beating too, but it has self-repair. Cool. Well, all right, let's 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 not overthink this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to destroy this enemy here. Let's see if Takuya can finish it off and get some experience. Good. All right, that's a good start. Now, Keel, can you move down here and kill this guy? Or at least, you know, hurt him. Uh, how is Eddie's mech doing? The Kyrus. It is almost fully repaired. Time to deploy Eddie again. I need your skills, Eddie. I need your incredible attack power. Eddie, get him. Beautiful. Reiko can hold out for another turn by all appearances, and I think Mac can as well. Especially if we can thin their numbers a bit more. Man, Mac, you used to be really impressive, but I feel like these days you don't do quite so much damage. Uh, Harry, Reiko, can you finish this? Uh, you let me down every time, Reiko. Have you ever been successful in doing what I needed you to do? Like, even a single time? Wow, even the Dread failed. I understand that guy's on a 50% defensive tile, but come on. How can he survive that many hits when he's at 1 HP? Oh my gosh, Che can't get anywhere. Alright, the Dread is so hurt that it really needs to retreat a bit. I'm going to move Che to the space it was just occupying. 
Have her activate the shield. Reiko must have taken return fire. Because she's at 5. She was at 7. Yikes. Now she's worse off. Hmm. Can't really get anybody I particularly want to get. Well, in order to avoid return fire, I guess start killing that guy. Next turn I'm going to deploy the fairy again and hope I can cluster missile a ton of enemies. Is there anybody who hasn't attacked? Mac, I'm going to move you farther back onto a mountain tile where you have even better defense. Should I do that for Reiko as well? Well, that one's only 20%. Oh, right, because she's a, an aquatic mech. She doesn't get as good of a bonus in the Namoon. That's fair enough. I, I'm going to have her start pulling back a bit. Uh, Harry 2. So basically we're now implementing the run and gun strategy that we were using in the city level. Ooh, Chase kind of exposed there, but she's on a mountain tile and the shield's up, so... Okay, I think everybody has acted. Alright, my hope is that the enemy is going to kind of pursue us, and I'm going to be able to deploy the fairy, cluster everybody, and hopefully get another couple of kills. Continue thinning out the enemy ranks. Oh, they are attacking the uh, the bellwether like crazy. But Keel can still take it. Even he's going to start feeling it eventually. Oh man, some of them are firing on the Dread. Wow, they want to kill Keel. I mean, he is a traitor, so I understand. If they realize that's him. He's still got five hit points, even after that much of a beating. Oh, I think it is time. So, okay. Uh, let's check everybody's hit points. Five. Five. Repair yourself, Dread. Uh, Keel can just still withstand tons of enemy attacks. Pastoral, repair yourself. Alright, good. Uh, seven. Three? Uh-oh. Reiko's in serious danger. She needs rescued. Reiko needs rescued. Oh boy. Reiko's gonna die. That's unacceptable. We need to carve a path. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is rough. So if I deploy the fairy, where can it get to? Can't get anywhere because I'm in the mountains. All right, I need to move the, the dread first. So let's start off by weakening the sky a little bit. Move to here. Deploy Nina again. To here. And she's going to cluster missile. Good. Man, that cluster missile is incredible. Yeah, I'm trying to carve a path to Reiko so she can escape and I can rescue her because, oh man, is she in trouble. She didn't hold out as well as I was hoping. Probably partly my fault for giving her an aquatic mech. It's not getting the defensive bonuses it should be getting. And that's on me. Oh, jeez. Um, Eddie, where are you? Here he is. Ah, oh, so many enemies with a lot of hit points left. Oh, but there's also some that are on the verge of death. Maybe my first concern should be finishing them. So if I move... Takia to here. 
and finish this guy? No, of course not. Oh, there was a guy with one hit point right next to him. Uh, Nina, can you... What are your weapons again? Beam rifle and the worthless punch. So use the beam rifle. It's never worthwhile to use the punch, basically. Uh, that guy's just out of range. No great targets. Maybe weaken the tower a bit more? I think that was her best option. Uh, okay, now let's start trying to finish off some of these guys. So Che. Oh, and uh, I want to get Che down to where she can shield as well. But So I'm not going to move her yet. First I'll have her use her beam saber on this guy. She failed to finish him because of course she did. Oh, wow, Keel can self-repair too. I didn't even know. He's even more indestructible than I realized then. Keel, please get a kill. Good. Harry, can you get a kill here? Great. All right, all right. Cutting a path to Reiko. Though just about everybody has attacked at this point. Except Eddie. Eddie can do a lot of damage, but he can't do seven points of damage in a single turn. Dread cannot move. Oh man, I guess I can have Reiko move down there where hopefully not many enemies will attack her. Before that, Che needs to move here and activate her shield. Alright, so now Reiko's got a shield. If I move down here, hopefully the enemies will mostly ignore her. Hopefully, and she's in a good defensive position. And go ahead and fire your missiles and weaken the turret a bit more. Oh good, she actually did a point of damage. Oh, okay. And Mac hasn't attacked yet, neither has Eddie. Between the two of them, they might be able to do some real damage to this guy. Not bad. And then if Mac pulls back to here... Another one. Okay. That's everybody, right? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this mission is intense. Alright, if they're going to focus so heavily on Keel, again, that's a good thing. Takes forever for him to lose hit points, and he has self-repair. Ditto for Takia. So if you guys want to focus on Keel and Takia, I'm totally on board with that. Okay, now these guys... That one guy took a cheap shot at Reiko, but only one so far. Good, okay. They pretty much ignored her. They didn't even get through her shield. Uh, still five hit points left on the Pastoral. It will repair itself again. And no reason not to have the... Bellwether repair itself too, and the Dread. Okay, Nina should be able to get some more cluster missiles off this turn. Uh, that's definitely enough enemies to be worth it. Didn't kill anybody, sadly. Eddie, get up there and wreck this guy's face. Beautiful. Okay, we're thinning their numbers, bit by bit. Uh, let's focus on this guy next. Down to one. Harry, can you finish him? You can! Well done, Harry. 
Nina's got the beam rifle. Uh, hmm. Will she do any damage if she attacks that? I'm skeptical. She did a little damage attacking that guy. Uh, che, you've got the beam saber. So melee is better for you. Not that you even did a single point of damage. Uh, Mac Ryan hasn't attacked yet. Neither has Reiko. Good, that guy's down to one. The enemies don't seem to be retreating for repairs either. From his current position, Mac doesn't have a lot of targets, but honestly, that's okay. He's built to be a sniper anyway, and that guy's not a bad target. Okay, uh, I need to move the Dread one to the south for Reiko to be able to board it. Oh, and the Dread hasn't attacked yet. Who can it get at? Oh, it can kill this guy. Never mind. You failed me pretty badly there, Dread. Ben. Ben Bask. Ben Bosk. That was a failure on your part. Uh, okay. These guys haven't moved, but I don't particularly want them to. Harry has taken some damage, but the enemy doesn't seem to be targeting him anymore. They're targeting these two, foolishly. Uh, hmm. Any reason to move the Panacea? No, not really. The enemy hasn't been targeting it anyway. Okay. I'm feeling a little better about this. We're slowly grinding the enemy down. Man, this is a meat grinder. Or I guess more of a metal grinder. It being mech combat and all. Yes, focus on Keel fools. Ha! All you're doing is feeding him experience points. He devours your attacks and they make him stronger. Look at that! Seven hit points still. Incredible. And now a self-repair back up to nine. And then the pass stroll back up to eight. The fight definitely seems to be turning in our favor. I think we survived the worst of it. Okay. Still want more experience for Takia, especially because it looks like he's about to level. So he's 5'4", five, 5'4". Four, five, four. If he gains another level, will those things improve? Still 5'4", five, 5'4". Four, five, four. Takia, you're letting me down. Pilots do not improve their their pips, their skills very quickly in this game, do they? Alright, uh, Eddie. Eddie, move here. And, oh wait, actually, first Nina. There we go. Cluster some more enemies. And now... Kindly kill this guy, Eddie. Well done. Uh, Harry. If you please. He does not please. Uh, Nina, then. She also does not please. Che, you can do it. I believe in you. My belief was misplaced. Out of mana points, okay. Fair enough. I don't feel like we really need the wall that much at this point anyway. Uh, Keel, surely you can finish off one of these jokers. There you go. Uh, oh, this guy's gotten close to Mac. Mac will just keep sniping, I suppose. And maybe another kill for the Dread? Yes. And we can deploy Reiko in a swift, which probably would have been the better option from the beginning. Machine gun. I'm just so unimpressed by those cannons. Just I think that's pretty apparent. They have not made a good impression on me. 
All right, Reiko, now that you're in a proper mech, see what you can do against that guy. Well, a point of damage is a point of damage. Okay, uh, I think I'm content with this. Yeah, this seems fine. This is a great mission so far. It's it's such a chaotic mess. I was in legitimate danger of losing uh, a couple of my troops. So there was real tension going on. But now things are beginning to be under control. Uh, hmm. Nina, do you have any shots left? She does. However, not many enemies in the area. I'd rather she move to where she could get all those guys before. Could she get them all with it? Yeah, I think so. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Takia with the kill here. All right, that's another approx down. What can Max snipe from here? This guy again. All right, and Eddie, go save Mac. Well, I think this guy's going to survive, actually. I don't think I... With my remaining forces, I can do four points of damage to him, as pathetic as that kind of is. Oh, wow, Harry, I underestimated you. That was pretty good. How about you, Keel? No? Oh, wow, Harry outperformed Keel. That's a surprise. Uh, Reiko. Reiko with the kill. Nice job, Reiko. Uh, che. If I move you to here, can you kill this guy with one hit point? No, you can't. Uh, Nina can do a little bit of damage from there. The Dread looks like it gets another kill. The Dread picks up a lot of kills. Partly because I often have it attack last. Phew, alright. We are getting the situation under control. Let's move Keel to there. Self-repair again. Uh, I can't move Takia, but I can have him self-repair. And Harry is fine where he is. I don't want to move him closer and have him take hits, because he only has six hit points. Mac, you might want to start moving closer to where you can continue your sniping operations. Uh, the Dread will self-repair and move forward a bit. Reiko also can afford to move. Well, if I move her there, the enemy might all gang up on her. So let's just move her incrementally forward a little bit. Okay. What does the enemy have up their sleeves next? Che is starting to feel the damage. Might have her go to refit and rearm after she attacks. Alright, Che. Oh, um, ha. Huh. Well, I guess I'll move the dread door she can actually get at it then. And who will it attack? Let's pick off this guy. All right, Che, get in there. And Reiko. 
unload on this guy. Eddie is not in a position... Oh, I stand corrected. I always forget how fast his mech is. Melee this dude's face. Okay, he's nearly dead. If I can get anybody else in range... Hmm. Oh, and that's, there's an enemy right there. Uh, let's see. There's Mac. Maybe I should move Mac to where he can finish off that retreating enemy. Well, I don't know if he's retreating, but just in case he is, it's not permitted. Explode! Okay. We can all pile onto this dude who unwisely came forward and got himself surrounded. Oh, he's inside her minimum range. Well, I'll move around to the ruins of the tower where she gets a 50% defense boost anyway, and then she can attack him. Uh, and Takia, go ahead and melee him. Oh, wow, Takia with the kill. I wasn't expecting that. Nice work. Okay, uh, nobody on board to deploy. I think Che is rearming, right? Uh, let's start moving Keel forward. And Takia as well. They'll be able to start wailing on this tower next. That approx. Move up to that one. Might be worth splitting my forces in a moment after I finish off the remaining enemy mechs. Send some guys north to take care of these two. And the rest of the force this way to wipe out these two and then the enemy base. That's going to be my tentative plan. Uh, okay, yep, we're ready to end the turn. All right. Nina's probably out? No. Wow, the cluster missiles. You get so many of them in addition to them being so powerful. What an incredible ability that is. All right, Mac Ryan. Start piling onto this guy next. Where's Eddie? Eddie. There he is. Go up there and finish this guy. Well, it was it was an awful lot to ask to finish him when he had that many hit points left, but you did a good job weakening him. Harry might be able to get the kill. Yeah, you let me down that time, Harry. Nina, you might be able to get the kill. Not from there. Uh, hmm. Well, Takia, can you finish that guy? No. Well, Keel, can you finish what Takia started? Yes. All right. And... So what is the range on Nina's weapon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, pretty far. So if I move her right up next to the turret, she can turn around and shoot that guy and get the kill. Nice work, Nina. She'll be gaining a level soon. Uh, let's see then. Still an enemy left there. Dread will go ahead and take a shot at it. Ooh, did decent damage, too. Alright, move up to here. Deploy Che again. How's her panacea looking? Fully repaired, apparently. Alright, Nina, you're back in action. Go lightsaber this guy's face. Did I say Nina? If I said Nina, obviously I meant Che. As I, as I said earlier, I'm getting a little tired despite having a lot of energy earlier in the day. Let's move everybody forward.
Actually, it wasn't I just saying I was going to send some of my forces eastward. Well, uh, we're first gathering here, and then we're going to go eastward. It's not that I totally forgot my own plan. That would be silly. Good call on my part, preemptively splitting the video so I didn't have to take all the time to split it in post, because this fight is already over an hour long. I don't think I'm going to have to make it a three-parter, because the mission should be almost over now. Another kill for Eddie. Che and Nina are both close to a level. I'm interested to know if they would gain any stats. Uh, Che. Actually, no. Um, go to here. So you can vacuum wall everybody. No reason not to. Dread can start weakening that guy. And... Move Reiko up. Hopefully next attack can kill him. How many hit points are you at, Max? Seven. Okay, that's fine. Good. Now, everybody focus on this stupid tower. Uh, hmm. Well, I think if Nina just backs off to here... No, she'll be within its firing range. Well, she can take one hit from it. It's fine. Oh, I didn't need to back her off that far. I'm an idiot. Whatever. And that thing was even in range of Che's lightsaber. Okay... Takia can melee it. Man, these towers take a beating. Harry hasn't acted yet. Move to here, Harry. And wait, that's in... That is in beam rifle range. Okay, good. Or, or does he have the machine gun? No, he had a machine gun, didn't he? I can't keep these things straight anymore. Have the... Dread repair itself again. Eddie... I once again forgot that I was going to move my guys eastward. Whatever, that plan is out the window. I can't keep track of anything anymore. Man, and the mission just keeps going. You know what? I think I'm actually going to have to split the video again. Looks like this is going to be our first three-parter. Well, next episode, we'll see if we can finally finish up this mission. Uh, pretty much just by the numbers mop-up operation at this point, I think. Unless there's any more surprises waiting in the wings. Either way, hopefully you'll join me for that, and I will see you then. Bye!